This is Jim, KC9VKV, and as a point of explanation, while my QSO Vlog video net is mainly about ham radio, it's also, on the other hand, about life and death. The following was in the written description of one of my YouTube QSO Vlog video uploads for June 7th, 2019, but it's hard to find it as it was just a written description, so I would like to post it by itself. June 7th, 2019. Well, today was one of those difficult days. My father-in-law, Wendell Conger, recently passed on after a three-year fight with Parkinson disease. Earlier today, he was laid to rest, and I felt led to say a few words about this man that I've known for over 40 years. Who was Wendell Conger? Wendell Conger was my father-in-law, and in addition to that, he was truly a remarkable man with great determination. One day, Wendell decided he wanted to go into the silk screening business. Silk screening not for t-shirts and stuff like that, but for a real professional multicolor design silk screening. A machine that could do that would cost $10,000. Wendell did not have that kind of money, but he did have something else. He did have a remarkable determination. He believed he could build such a machine with tolerances down to 32nd of an inch for multicolored passes with God's help. So he began. The first problem, this would have to be a hinged two-plane affair. The silk screen image master would have to be hinged over the print material. But what kind of hinge? How do you keep the silk screen door open after you've lifted it up to take out the old printed material and put in the new material? Remember, this is a manual silk screening machine, so it had to be a special hinge. A hinge that would change the center of gravity to the point that once opened, the screen plate would stay opened on its own. Wendell then had a remarkable idea. He would use what's called an offset hinge, a unique device that shifts the center of gravity once open. That and a little sand in a bucket for a counterweight balance and the problem was solved. That one inspirational flash is worth the cost of admission alone. But now, on to the next build problem. How do you keep the printed material from shifting around on the print table? If it moves, it would make the printed sign look blurry and out of focus. Wendell then had another remarkable idea. He took a three foot by three foot aluminum plate and drilled hundreds of little holes in it. He put a pan on the bottom and called it the vacuum hold down plate. And he used what he had to furnish the vacuum, a power vac, connected to the hold down plate by way of a long power vac hose. The intensity of the hold down pressure had to be adjusted just right to keep the material in place to a 32nd of an inch for multicolor passes. The silk screen printing press itself was just part of his creation. He also designed and built the whole support process as well. The silk screen forms, the emotions that would form the image on the silk screens, they were activated by a photosynthesis combination. A photo negative was placed over a prepared silk screen in a dark room, and that transferred image on the silk screen master had a resolution down to one thousandths of an inch. Truly remarkable for this hand-built machine, but then Wendell Conger was a truly remarkable man. And FYI, Conger Signs of Jeffersonville, Indiana continues on today with two full state-of-the-art screen printing presses and two large format computer vinyl photo suites. You may have noticed my Radio Shack set, a 90% vinyl design creation by Joshua Conger, along with Miriam and Rebecca, his sisters, and Amber, his better half, who continue the remarkable Conger tradition. This is KC9 VKV.